Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is just uh, my September reading bullet journal spread. I uh, I started doing these this reading journal this year. Um, I don't do a whole lot of tracking because I like to have a plan and I like to have a record, but I I mostly um, feel restricted if I have too many things to plan. So. This is really just an excuse for me to doodle some cute, colorful things and keep track of the books I want to read and then to keep track of the books that I have read, the books that I bought, and where they came from if I received ARCs or whatever, and then uh, also what my favorite books were for the year. So this is just super basic. I just did a sketch of this little fox and mushrooms and leaves. And uh, yeah, I was kind of debating about whether or not I wanted to include mushrooms just because it seems like, um, you know, mushrooms can occasionally not look like mushrooms. But I think they turned out good. I like them. I think they're cute. Folk art, kind of cartoony. I really like it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch this for a bit and then I will include some more comments as we go along. Slowly disappear 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 Oh, I've been hiding, hiding Deep in the woods Oh, I've been searching as far as I could For some answers, answers To my riddles and my doubts Oh, I might have taken The easy way out But it doesn't matter now It doesn't matter now so for this part of the spread, I just do a... So basically for each month, I have a cover page, which is mostly just a cute little drawing and the theme. And then I have a September TBR page where I usually only choose six books that I want to read because I feel like if I choose more than six books that I want to or plan to read, then I get really overwhelmed and then I just don't read hardly anything, it seems like. I don't know if you're like that, if you plan too much and then you get overwhelmed and then you just don't do anything. So I have a September TBR page and then the opposite page is that books that I've actually read. This is just a cute little fox because foxes are cute. So then on the other side of the page is just uh, the books that I've actually read for the month. So each time that I read a book, I just mark it down there. I write its title and what the star rating I gave it was and then that's it. I am putting a napkin under my hand so that I try not to smear the ink in the pencil, but I end up doing that anyways, as you'll see later on. Been searching, searching as far as I could. Oh, I've been hiding, hiding deep in the woods. Oh, I've been searching, searching as far as I could, but it doesn't matter. And then these two pages are uh, any September books that I received, so books that I bought or were gifted or received as ARCs or whatever. I like to try and keep track of the books that I receive, how many and where they came from. Um, but this last month when I went on my eBay kick, I stopped tracking those. <laughs> and then on the right side is my September favorites, so that's a a front and back spread and I just take pictures from the cover of the book on Goodreads and print them out and I pick like two to four books that were my favorites for the month. So now I'm just gonna erase the pencil marks and then start coloring. So uh, I just color this with 
person of color colored pencils, I want something that's not going to bleed through. So that's why I do that. Just flat color on all of them. They look cute. wanted to say that I got the inspiration for this mushroom spread from lollipop.lettering on Instagram and I will have her Instagram page linked below. She has super cute um, bullet journaling spread ideas and I really love them so make sure you check her out. And that completes this month's spread. It's all done. Just have to fill it out as I read it and as I buy books. I'm gonna try and do a little better about not buying as many books in September. We'll see how that goes. But and then I'm gonna take you back through the previous month so you can see what it looks like when it's all filled out. Um, so this one was July. It has my TBR. I actually stuck pretty close to it that month. Books read, books I received. I designate the genre and the books I buy. And then the pictures of my favorite books for that month. So August isn't quite finished. I need to put the pictures in there still. But then I'm that going to take you back to the beginning of the journal. 
You can see some of my favorite quotes and stickers from books that I love. Six of Crows, Throne of Glass. Um, love all of those. And then this spread is my 100 books I want to read for the whole year. And I designate them by color, physical, audio, ebook, or nonfiction. So I also do the color for each month so I know which books I read when. Just want to thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video.